Welcome to InfoSource, a presentation of Berkshire Healthcare Systems, a not-for-profit, consumer-centered organization committed to fulfilling the health and residential needs of the communities across Massachusetts that we serve. I'm Jenny Sutherland, your host. This is the only show that I repeat through every year, and my mother's looking forward to it because she likes the Harvest Run, which is now 2018 Harvest Run, with me from Berkshire Community College, Dean of Enrollment, Christina Wynn. Thanks for coming on, Christina. Thank you for having Welcome me. Welcome to InfoSource. And just a good all-around guy, my friend and yours, Mr. William Kittler from Kimball Farms Nursing Care Center. Thanks for coming on. Administrator extraordinaire. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. It's I great to be here. I can keep going on. <laughs> um, and you guys are on a committee Mm -hmm. um, for the Harvest Run, um, separate from your roles, but together in roles to do the Harvest Run. Um, I want to start with Christina and talk about as the Dean of Enrollment, because it sounds like super cool. I've had a doctor on before. I probably should have had a lawyer on, but now I have a Dean. So as <laughs> Dean of Enrollment, what do you do? Uh, well, um, at Berkshire Community College, we all have a chance to do a little bit of everything. Very cool. So I have the opportunity to oversee a team of people who um, work in our admissions area, financial, mm -hmm. student financial services, so helping people to understand how they can pay for college, sure. um, how they actually get in, so in terms of testing and placement, what mm -hmm. classes they can take. Um, and I also have the opportunity to oversee our um, marketing department. So, oh, yeah. so that's a nice combination. Yeah. Um, and I think it's, uh, I mean, I can't say enough about Berkshire Community College. I think it's one of the gems in, in Berkshire County. Um, I, I am from a community college. I went to Holyoke Community College. And that in between and figuring things out um, really helped me along uh, my career path. Um, so it's nice that there's you and your team to help them out. And, and that's kind of, you know, you're leaving high school or coming back to school. Um, so I'm sure you see a mix of students. Yes. We see lots of students. They come from all walks of life, some that have been born and raised here in the Berkshires. Mm -hmm. But we also have some that have come from overseas, from Ghana and China and Vietnam, and they're coming to school here in America and are just make this really robust community. And, and one of the things that I think is so great about a community college is the, the difference in age is, mm -hmm. is so, uh, the range is so different than if you were to go to a four-year school. And the good thing about that is that when students come to a community college and they're in a classroom with people that are a lot older or a lot younger, that's really representative of what they're going to find when they go into the workplace, right? Like you don't get you to know, work it's, with it's, people it's your age. A absolutely. And as a matter of fact, I, I, I rarely... I mean, you see that, and I think that's a wonderful uh, component to an education because that's true. That is a real-life representation of a workplace. Um, one of the things that you have out of the many uh, different opportunities for education at Berkshire Community College is your nursing program, and that's one of the reasons we, we Berkshire Healthcare Systems, have partnered with you over the years to help support. Um, and it's been a great partnership, and I don't know how many years it's been. I I've, have been involved in it for seven years, the Harvest Run. Um, but Bill, you um, you kind of started. You were with the group of, of folks who started the Harvest Run. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Thank you for doing that. Oh, you're welcome. It um, it's been a long time. Uh, we take you back to two, like the year 2000. Um, like going back in time. Yeah, but, <laughs> and uh, it's a long time. So we, um, yeah, back back in the year 2000, there's a lot of um, talk about the, this thing called the nursing cliff, where there's a lot more nurses professionally mm -hmm. leaving the business, sure. and uh, the um, the amount of new nurses, the enrollments were down, um, and the the money. Uh, there was some funding cuts to BCC at that time, and in Berkshire County um, in 2000, BCC was the place where uh, the nursing program. Um, was available to go for our Berkshire County um, the residents that want to become nurses. So uh, we really wanted to highlight that. Sure. Um, and uh, we, uh, we we decided to, to, that a race would be the uh, the thing to do. Um, I'm a runner, and I thought that that was uh, that was really uh, I felt like the inspiration behind that. Mm -hmm. um, and in 2002, we had our first race, um, and it. 
it, we, we, we got it off the ground and uh, over the years um, we've made it better. Mm -hmm. um, Berkshire Healthcare has been great, BCC has been great, we've been great partners and we've raised a lot of money for the program um, and uh, they have a lab that we've given a lot of money to so, uh, so the students can uh, really uh, learn their technique in a controlled environment. Um, we've given scholarships and uh, uh, and I, I, I have to say that uh, I always remind people that you know if you're going to get care in Berkshire County, chances are um, you're going to be cared for from a nurse that graduated from BCC. So um, that's that. And the other thing I like to mention too, as far as Berkshire Healthcare is concerned, in my building, Kimball Farms, um, that's where I'm the administrator. We uh, we've been very fortunate to have a lot of uh, BCC graduates um, at our at our facilities caring for our residents, which is uh, which kind of brings it all home. So, and and that is absolutely why um, I get behind it because every day I work with nurses. I just met a, a, a new colleague yesterday that I'm working on with a project and we were getting to know each other and I said so wh where did you go to school and she said I went to BCC. So I, I get to um, take advantage of her going to BCC and she couldn't say enough about it and I'm so super happy so thank you You're welcome. for doing yeah, that. Absolutely. Thank you for for the program there. The other thing I just want to throw out there about Berkshire Community College and, and also us, our organization, it's not just nurses. I mean you, you mentioned marketing that, that you're overseeing stuff. I'm, I'm now currently in the marketing department for Berkshire Healthcare Systems so we're always looking for new talent mm -hmm. and I think there's a lot of opportunity there and that folks don't realize that within the healthcare system there's a lot more roles and I'm certainly not going to negate the importance of nursing to our roles for everyone watching this nurses rock and we need them and certainly you produce awesome nurses so thank you um, but there's other opportunities both at BCC and with us to to have a career and in, in a nice I like to say good time while helping other people who need it so Absolutely. Um, back to the race when is this year's harvest run the harvest run is October 20th October 20th. At Berkshire Community College. N not only are we excited to host the run again. I knew this was coming. We're so I excited. almost was trying to hold back the reins on <laughs> right. this. I'm so Why excited. are you excited? We're excited because just last week we opened the Jean D'Elia turf field. That's great. And yeah. so many people have come out to see it and are absolutely enamored with this field. It is beautiful. And if you don't have somebody who maybe plays soccer in your family, or maybe you don't yeah. play soccer, it's a great reason to come out and see the field and also take advantage of the run and the facility on sure. a beautiful October day. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's I, gonna be beautiful. I mean, this this truly, I, as soon as we're done this, I look forward to the next year. It's true, and, and Bill and I have often, you know, we run into each other, we get to spend a lot of time with each other this time of the year, and then we'll say, I just can't wait to get going again. But what, what I wanna go back to is, is I don't, think people realize the importance that this turf field has for not only Berkshire Community College but for the whole community because there's not another one around here. No, there's not another public turf field that our kids and our no. young athletes can take advantage of. So when we were approached with the opportunity of hosting the field on our campus, our president, um, Ellen Kennedy, was so thrilled mm -hmm. and has been a, a steward in this process all along. And to have the unveiling and the ribbon cutting, it's just, it, it was amazing. And the, we saw the, the kids immediately run out onto the turf and were so excited. One of them even quoted, like, this is the best present I could have for my senior year is oh, to fantastic. have this right. right in my hometown and to take advantage of it so yeah I mean that <clears throat> a lot of work a lot of time a lot of thought was put into that so congratulations to Berkshire Community Thank College you. and anytime we can mention Ellen Kennedy who I respect very much um, you know I get to do this event and I spend some time with her but I often hear on the radio or giving interviews and I think well, what a dynamic woman and an inspiration really to mm -hmm. everybody to be a great leader so um, fantastic very cool about that all right harvest run is on Saturday October 20th yes, um, if people want to register to actually run in it I'm not I never have I never will <laughs> I don't think anybody watching thought I ran in it <laughs> but if they want to what do they do well, we 
we were commiserating before the show that Bill and I are both runners, and we've not Never. been able to run Never. in the yeah. race. Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. We're all I, in the I, same. I would be more like a, a rider of a moped <laughs> of the race course. Maybe we can work that out this year. <laughs> that would but, be cool. Um, if people do want to register, and it, there's the 5K trail run. Yeah. There is the three-person relay where each person runs a mile. Maybe we could do that. Yeah, yeah. Could I be, be the like, anchor? I could be the anchor. <laughs> yeah. I would be a great anchor in water. I don't know about in a run. <laughs> um, and the kids' fun run. Mm -hmm. So they can go online and register at. There are a couple places you can do it. So at um, uh, there, there's a spot on our homepage. It's BerkshireCC.edu/harvestrun. Yep. Um, but we're also partnering once again with our good friends at the Berkshire Running Center. Those are good folks. They're great. Yeah, yeah. They've been so good to us. And if you go to their website, BerkshireRunningCenter.com, you can actually click on and register for the race that way nice. too. So there's a nice. couple different ways. It's also on social media. Yeah. I mean, there's ah, social ways. media. Yeah, yeah. Well, probably on Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Well, before we get into how technologically challenged I am, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about the Harvest Run, which I'm getting super excited about. Back in a minute. Nestled in a quiet neighborhood, just a short walk from the offerings of downtown Lenox and just minutes from Tanglewood, the summer home of the Boston Symphony Orchestra in picturesque western Massachusetts. Kimball Farms Nursing Care Center offers you the best of both worlds. It's a locally run facility, staffed by dedicated healthcare professionals from the central Berkshire area. And it's backed by the expertise and resources of Berkshire Healthcare, the largest nonprofit long term care provider in the area. Kimball Farms Nursing Care Center is part of the Kimball Farms Life Care Retirement Community that includes independent living. Pine Hill Assisted Living, and the Life Enrichment Program for those with Alzheimer's disease or related memory impairments. Berkshire Healthcare is committed to fulfilling the health and residential needs of the people in the communities we serve. Kimball Farms is a proud recipient of the American Healthcare Association's National Quality Award. The Quality Awards recognize members' commitment to performance excellence by continuously demonstrating ever-improving value to residents and other customers. The Bronze, Silver, and Gold Awards recognize overall organizational effectiveness and capabilities and champion organizational and personal learning. At Kimball Farms, we pride ourselves on our deep commitment to our community. We offer a broad range of nursing home services including short-term rehabilitation, skilled nursing, long-term care, and hospice and respite care services. We also provide services that fill specific needs of the community, like our Alzheimer's program, dedicated to individualized care, maintaining dignity, and the highest quality of life for these residents. We proudly offer an elegant, home-like setting that allows our residents the comforts they expect while providing the care they need, including fine dining in our graciously appointed dining room, beautiful outdoor space, ample activities, and private family space. At the heart of it all is a focus on the body, mind, and spirit. Our rehab services include physical, occupational, and speech therapy. Our licensed therapy professionals help restore and maintain the body by focusing on helping our residents improve strength and mobility in order to participate in the activities they most enjoy. These services are provided up to seven days a week when ordered by a physician. Kimball Farms is more than a place to live. It's a place to enjoy each day to the fullest. Our activities program focuses on the mind and spirit of our residents by offering engaging leisure and recreational activities, arts and crafts, music, discussion groups, exercise sessions, religious services, and cultural community outings and more. Each resident and patient at Kimball Farms receives the highest quality care, delivered by our dedicated staff members working as a team. From the nursing staff to our front office personnel, everyone is enthusiastic about the role he or she plays in the lives of the people who entrust us with their care. Our staff is committed to providing compassionate care, 
using teamwork as their guiding principle. We're dedicated to treating each person with dignity, recognizing their individual needs, goals, and preferences. We create a care plan for each person, focused on helping them achieve the highest level of independence and quality of life. At Kimball Farms Nursing Care Center, we're perfecting the art of superior care. If you or a loved one need short-term rehab, extra care after a hospital stay, or a nursing supervised full-time living arrangement, we invite you to tour and meet our staff. See firsthand how we enhance the lives of those we serve. To make arrangements or get more information, call 413-637-5011. We look forward to meeting you. Welcome back to InfoSource. We are talking about the Harvest Run 2018. Cannot wait. It's coming up so soon. And then I'll watch the show and it'll be over and I'll be excited for the 2019. With me is Christina Wynn from Berkshire Community College and himself, Mr. Bill Kittler from Kimball Farms Care, Nursing Care Center. And I'm, look at, I'm getting really juiced up about this event. Not only are we going to help raise money, for your nursing program and I know we've helped a lot that you are going to teach some phenomenal nurses and we're going to hopefully and willingly have them come with us um, but we are going to have a day of fun where people are going to be running and we're also going to have a little bit of friendly competition Bill Kittler yes. now when you started this race Berkshire put their name on it they did some mailings we did some donations and that was a good time and BCC was very happy with us we kind of evolved it a little bit and all of our affiliates in Berkshire County because this is seen outside of Berkshire County will come to your beautiful campus not drive across the turf <laughs> lawn <laughs> Uh, clearly we will not be <laughs> like you. driving across the new turf mm. Um, but we're going to get together and we have a decorating contest and a cook-off. Now, Bill, that is grown. Mm. Can you describe that, please? Because, I, you know, I get pretty excited and I don't want to lose focus. Yeah, it has a very festive marketplace feel. Um, and the affiliates, um, you talked about there's not just nursing as a profession, there's nope. other professions. And um, our, um, our culinary staff, our dietary staff um, come out in numbers. We have um, all our affiliates from the Berkshires yep. come in. And um, they actually, um, outside the, the race course, line up. And based on an th annual theme uh, chosen from last year, the prior year's winner, because yep. it is a competition. Big competition, but friendly and supportive of each other. Yes. Um, and, um, and there's going to be a food theme. Um, and the, um, every, every food service director, their chefs, mm -hmm. and their support staff come out. and. Um, the uh, thematically decorated booths um, with their thematically create, created um, culinary experiences are presented um, to everyone for free. Everyone's there. So um, free food, free good time, and this year people are going to enjoy the wonderful food offering of the seasonal pumpkin flavor. So you're going to see pumpkin, I believe, in a lot of different forms, yeah. uh, but because the uh, decorating theme is a happy Halloween, not scary, bloody, scare you, unfriendly. Mm. The happy Halloween, we will have Halloween treats, um, and it's pretty exciting. Yeah. Um, again, team members outside of nursing, and we'll have some nurses there for sure, uh, get to show off a little bit, and we have some judges, and uh, you know, past years, I think folks who uh, attend and there are, there are people who come every year to the harvest run there I still run into folks and they talked about last year's last year we did the 1950s decorating and food theme and we had a lot of 50s diners and people are still blown away by yeah. that so um, this year the pumpkin food theme Christina do you eat pumpkin oh I definitely you're a pumpkin do. I'm person I'm pretty excited about the whole pumpkin spice Pum thing de happening pumpkin spice that is oh, I now had a really good milkshake at last year Mm. Oh, I'm could it be sure. the tang and homemade vanilla ice oh, cream milkshake you had? Maybe it was. Tang it was, was invented in 1950s, keeping Amazing. with the theme. And that, 
that milkshake along with the slider yes. was the winner last yes, year. Yes, that's right. Yeah. And I kind of have to, to, to put it out there that that was our North Adams Commons um, skilled nursing center up there in North Adams who uh, dietary manager Don Roach uh, took it home and uh, is pretty proud of that it and was. that whole team because not only did they win the, the food cook-off with said Tang milkshake and burger slider and homemade ketchup but they also had a 50s diner kind of themed after Back to the Future's yes. Marty's Diner and they were to the T so uh, I know a big part of that was uh, human resource director Dina Copeland worked very hard on that yeah. and um, folks just came out from all their departments and pitched in. So I'm kind of throwing it out there. I'm kind of challenging all of Berkshire affiliates and uh, to kick it up a notch, but we'll see how they do. But again, this is for free. So the food is free. The good times are free. Um, you see a lot of spirit and you get to know us a little bit, um, meet who, who we are, what we're about. Um, and I think it's an excellent, excellent time. Um, I want to get back to um, the nursing students for just a second. Yeah. We're going to have some on site yes, helping out, absolutely. which is good. They love to participate. I mean, it's so great that yeah. you all have done this run in support of our nursing program, which is a premier program here in the Berkshires. Mm -hmm. It's really one of our most popular programs at BCC. It, it tend, it's actually the only one that is um, selective. So you go through an additional application process and um, those that are selected to be part of our nursing program are the best of the best. They're incredibly bright. They have a lot of potential and we are so excited to have them be part of our student body and have us support them. And then hopefully, as you said, they go on to work in your mm -hmm. facilities mm -hmm. with your affiliates. And um, I think again, going back, um, th this is a wide age range. It's not just fresh out of high school. That's it's right not a couple of years in the workforce. These are folks who might have been out of, in, in different careers for 20 years or people coming back after raising a family yeah. and, and all yeah. kinds of stuff. So it's, it's quite an interesting mix. And I, I like part of that event. I try to kind of say hey to those folks because you, you have them wear their lab coats yeah. and you can identify them. And w what they say is, is so many good things about Berkshire Community College and even some of your older students are like, I just feel good here. Mm -hmm. And the vibe from this event, I think, really supports the good feelings that we have towards these students and all the students there. So good for you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we've really been really lucky over the years to not only have the run and the support of Berkshire Healthcare Systems uh, to, to really help our students see what will come next for them, but while they're on our campus, they are able to take advantage of some of the beautiful lab space that you had mentioned previously. We just did about $34 million in renovations to our campus, mm -hmm. and they're working in simulated lab spaces with high-tech uh, mannequins so they can do simulations and w improve their techniques. And when people walk into those spaces, they're absolutely blown away that we have those kind of facilities here in the Berkshires. So it's through support of events like this and partners like all of you that we are able to do that. Yeah. I was told not to touch space, th anything in that space when I told them <laughs> that. Please Same don't, here. Don't, <laughs> right. don't touch the stuff. I'm like, okay, it's got to be cool if you're yes. telling me not to touch it. <laughs> but it's, it, again, it's a jewel mm -hmm. in Berkshire County yes. because this is right here. This is available. Uh, for any kind of career path, but certainly for your program. Um, we talked about a lot of different things. Uh, you, Bill, uh, every year when we do this, you always take a, um, a, a time to really support the kids' fun run. Yes. Um, and I know that means a lot to you, and you've really stressed that this isn't just a fun race where kids are like, ah! this is a serious thing. So can you take a minute about the kids' run? Absolutely. Um, uh, pretty early on in the uh, evolution of the race, we did start a, a kids' run, and we uh, we uh, evolved into a race yeah. um, and make sure that the kids um, that show up want to race. And um, we we do entertain all ages, but um, we have awards from um, five and under all the way up to the age of twelve for first, second, and third for um, girls and boys, um, and uh, the, um, they're honored after the race. That's in front great. of everybody that's um, attending to the free food at our thematic um, um, 
food site. So yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for the kids to get out, get some exercise, uh, compete for fun, and um, enjoy, enjoy a great morning at BCC. All right, that's great. Again, they can go to your Berkshire Community College website, the Berkshire Running Center. Yeah, Berkshire yeah, Running Center. Look at that. Dot Everyone com. is surprised I remembered that because it's been a few <laughs> minutes uh, to register for not only the 5K trail run, but for the three person relay and the kids' fun run. Again, I'm not going to say it, but I am super excited about this event. Thank you, Christina. Thank uh, you, my welcome, dear Jenny. sir. Thank I want to thank the folks out there for watching. Remind you that. InfoSource is a presentation of Berkshire Healthcare Systems. Until next time, I wish you good health, good life. Bye-bye.